Did you? All right, I'm hanging up on you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, bye. It's just, they're just recording it back there. It's not streaming. Okay. Need a white balance? I'm good. I, I, I got the support. Thank you. Appreciate it. Do you want to look at Carrie? You want to look down here? Where do you want to look? It's up to you. You can, you can tell me which direction you want to look in. I'll look. I'll look down there. Okay. <coughs> so, Sheriff, so last night we're all having fun, being merry and cheerful at a Christmas parade. Something's going on at Mulberry High School. Let's talk about that. There was a girls' basketball game between Avon Park and Mulberry in Mulberry, Florida. Well, as the game went on, Avon Park certainly had control of the game because they ultimately won by 22 points. I think it was 47 to 25. At the end of the game, some of the players got to fighting and parents came out of the stands. That's right, parents got involved. And here's Mother of the Week, Rebecca Rushing. She was charged with two counts of battery she came out of the stand, she pushed a Mulberry player, and she kicked another Mulberry player. That's right, she's from Avon Park. It's not enough to win the ball game. She decided she would get in and punch around some of the Mulberry players. And we're trying to work through the details today. We've pulled all the videotapes because you know what? We want to know exactly what happened, and we want to know if there's other appropriate criminal charges. Now, for the high school players, basketball is a contact sport. Emotions run high. If the basketball players started pushing and shoving, we're going to let the school deal with that as a disciplinary issue unless there's extenuating circumstances. But we're not tolerating parents that come out of the stands. Oh, and here's Tyrake Hawthorne. He's also charged with two counts of battery and one count of disruption of a school function. So he punched a Mulberry player in the mouth and shoved another one by her face. So that's the second Avon Park player. Let me say that again. That's the second Avon Park player's relative or boyfriend that was involved. So now we got mother of the week. We got the boyfriend of another one of the players from, and both of them have punched on the Mulberry players. Well, if that's not enough, Arvesta Daniels, who's from Mulberry, he says he's the uncle of one of the Mulberry players, tried to come into the gym after the fight was over. Deputies were there and said, we're not letting anyone in. We're still sorting out what happened. He pushed past the deputies. Bad idea. He went to jail for resisting a deputy in their lawful duty. So Arvesta went to jail because he didn't listen to the deputies while we were trying to get control of the situation. And then we had the two Avon Park players. Well, as you can see, the total score of arrest kind of ended up like the basketball game. Avon Park 2, Mulberry 1. Sheriff, you would think that especially parents would know better I mean, to do, do something like this. I mean, it's just ridiculous. To come out of the stands, you know, this guy, he punches a female. I mean, you know, the, the mothers, you know, that are shoving people. I mean. Well, here's what occurs. Anyone who's ever watched basketball knows how exciting it is because the spectators are right on top of the action. Well, now one of the players is your daughter. And you see your daughter involved in a kerfuffle and it's more than you can stand. You're already jacked up over this emotional basketball game and you pile out of the stands onto the floor and start pushing around people and fighting. That's not acceptable. We know there were up to 40 that was reported to us last night involved in a, fi in a fight. The coaches and the staff, as it's reported to us, pretty well had the fight broken up by the time the deputies arrived. This was a girls high school basketball game. Avon Park won by 22 points. It was 47 to 25. It was no big deal except after the game apparently it went from talking to shoving between some of the players and then the parents and the boyfriends got involved. Three arrests last night. So far it's Avon Park 2, Mulberry 1. And at the end of the day when we look through all the tapes and complete the investigation, there may be more criminal charges because 
We're not going to put up with parents rolling out of the stand and punching and fighting each other or certainly the kids playing basketball. Not acceptable, not happening. If you do it, you're going to be held responsible. Sheriff, you would think that Avon Park would be happy, not upset. They had just beat Mulberry. Well, I think Avon Park was excited that they won the ball game. And we don't know what predicated or what created the fight. But as you know, kids will be kids and ball players will be ball players. And for whatever reason, after they pushed back and forth through the entire game, keep in mind, basketball is a contact sport. And the Mulberry kids couldn't have been happy to take that 22 point whipping they took. So did Mulberry start it or did Avon Park start it? I don't know. All I know is Avon Park won the game and Avon Park got the most people arrested last night, but our part of the investigation's not over. More of you could face criminal charges because if we see you as an adult involved in and beating up another adult or kids, you're gonna go to jail. Now the kids, the players, that's gonna be dealt with as a disciplinary issue at the school, unless of course we see something extraordinary. What do you tell parents out there? I mean, everybody gets emotional, even at these youth games. But what, what do you tell these parents that, you know, I mean, it's, you, can't, you can't do that. You know, the parents, I applaud the fact that the parents are there with their children at the ball game. You're supposed to do that. But you're also supposed to set a positive example. It is not a positive example when you show up at the ball game and leave in the back seat of a patrol car in handcuffs to the county jail that's not a positive influence on your child. So at the end of the day, thank you for caring enough about your child to be at the ball game. But rethink letting your emotions overwhelm your good sense because it is not a good thing when your child sees you carted off to the county jail for violating the law. And at the end of the day, you know what happened. Basketball games are emotional events, and they let their emotions get away with them. And when they saw the fight on the floor, they rolled out to, be, to participate in the fight. So at the end of the day, there certainly, if there were as many as reported to us, up to 40 fighting, there could be other criminal charges. We'll know as soon as we review all the tapes. Thankfully, I mean, this could have turned out a whole lot worse. You're talking about 40 plus possibly people fighting it's going to turn out a lot worse. You know, one person went to the hospital for hyperventilating or something like that, but fortunately no one was significantly injured. And that's the good news. So at the, at the end of the day, we're happy that no one was injured. We're happy that we were able to get it broken up before there were significant injuries. Avon Park should be happy that they won the ball game. And at, you know, what can you say? It got out of hand. It happens. We've seen it before. It'll happen again. We will hold people accountable and responsible for their inappropriate behavior. And here's one more example. So, what do you say to your daughter when, when you get out of the county jail? Nice game. Did you see mom in handcuffs? Go team? I don't know. One last question. What's your message to the students that let, you know, just get to the best of them? My message to the students is learn to behave and grow up because it, this is not good. Your conduct ended up getting one of your mamas arrested, getting one of your boyfriends arrested because when y'all started pushing and shoving and fighting down on the court, that's when your family and friends got emotionally involved. So you all created the environment that caused everyone to get arrested. Maybe that's the conversation that mom and daughter have. Daughter, you know, I'm sorry that you got in the fight. I was glad to help you. You won the game. I went to jail. Huh, how did that work for us? Perfect. Thanks, sir. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, is that what you mean? Reckon you got enough? Definitely. Definitely. Works out of that.